have to introduce you guys. Like, it's like an epic introduction. Climax. So, what's up, dessert lovers? We are back in my kitchen and we're cooking up some good desserts. Like, I literally stuffed my face out there trying out the restaurants and now I'm in here cooking and eating. That's all I'm kind of all I ever do. <laughs> and I love it. So, today we're making a custard. Now, it's not like it's a it's basically the way you'd make a creme brulee but i add a little bit of texture to it um because i remember that time that we went to the arbor and they made this amazing creme caramel that they put a little bit of texture in it so it kind of gave me some motivation to you know soup up my own i mean whip up my own um kind of custard with a little bit of texture and i will show you what i will be adding to my custard i'm ready i'm ready when you are <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> basics of a custard which is of course the cream you can use milk but I use the um, heavy cream and then I've got an egg there we've got some caster sugar we've got um now this is what I use for the texture just a bit of it and it is powdered milk so we've got some powdered milk in there as well now what I'm gonna do is first off add the dry ingredients that is about a quarter a cup. A quarter a cup because I'm just going to be making one bowl. Now you can add according to how much custard you want, but uh, just double it, quadruple it, depending on how much you're making. Now I am making a, just one bowl, so I'm just going to mix the dry ingredients in there, which is um, sh uh, powdered sugar and powdered milk. And then what I'm going to do is just pour in the cream. Pour in the cream, people. And do not worry because most of the time what happens is the powdered milk tends to get a bit lumpy. That's why I'm using a whisk because it kind of like incorporates it much better. And then of course just crack the egg in there for the custard base because you want it to be a nice rich custard. And just whisk that through. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And we <laughs> So this is what I was looking for, which is a uh, caramel essence. I love this because it adds such a rich flavor to it and just a teaspoon is enough for half a teaspoon because we're making very little custard. And now I'm just gonna beat that through and if you could smell it, I wish you could, it smells absolutely delicious. It smells so good. And what we're gonna do is after we beat it and look at that, it is nice and thick and rich we're just gonna pour it in a nice mold because what it is is you have to make sure that it can go into the oven so I'm just gonna pour that in there lovely and don't worry when you get those bites of um, what is this called or you could take out chunks but if you get this bite of nice uh, milk powdered milk you can sieve it if you want to, but it's really thick, so it's not going to work. So just leave it as is. Leave the little bits and pieces on top because when you bite into it, it's going to be so delicious because you get that creaminess from the wonderful milk. And just pop this into the oven. And let me turn that on. 100 and or 200. 200 degrees is fine. And leave that for... I usually bake it for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes depending on how fast your oven is and if it browns once it browns on the top and just slightly inside and the bottom then you know it is perfecto let me just tidy up tidy up are we good i can get it out of the oven okay and it looks like it's almost about a bird so i'm just gonna get that out of the oven i need me the mint how many times? Do you know how many of these I burnt? 
I keep using them and always burning them, then they don't serve the purpose. So I'm just gonna use the other side. So, and I'm gonna get this at, ooh, ooh, out of the oven. Straight out of the oven, so hot and so good. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna leave this to cool at room temperature, or you can pop it in the fridge after it's cooled, and you know, you can have it either cold or just a bit warm, it's fine. And once it's cooled, then I've, I've piped, um, like I told you, some whipping cream. I put it in the plastic bag and then I put a tip at the end so that you know, you just snip it for the tip at the end, and it's gonna be it's gonna work as my piping bag. So, I'm just gonna let that cool. <laughs> and it's cold good perfect so now that it's cold what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna yeah it's, it's just slightly warm at the bottom which is fine because i'm gonna eat it right away is i'm just gonna pipe out oh no, i'm gonna start from the middle so i'm just gonna pipe out some whipping cream right at the top and then what we're gonna do is just enjoy this and I like to have like a lot, a lot, a lot. Cause if you have a lot, a lot, a lot, then it's delicious, delicious, delicious. So I like to repeat, repeat, repeat myself so I can emphasize and emphasize. Oh, okay, my whipping cream is almost done, so. That's about it. And you can enjoy your custard. You can put some fruits on it if you want to. Hold on. Why is that sound in my head? I'm like a bug. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> really, really cute. <laughs> All right, and I've got some grapes over here, which I will just nicely topple right at the top so that I can eat nicely. I've got some whole grapes, whole grapes, whole grapes. And there you have it. I love how it sets so well. And you see, it's just got that little brown. Okay, I you can have it underdone. I love it like over overdone where I can just see a bit of color on it because then it tends to be just a bit soggy. But I like mine a bit firm, so I I cook it a bit longer. But it's up to you. You can cook it less. And I just want to I just want you to see. Okay, you're my I just want you to see the texture that that has. It's got an absolutely creamy, lovely texture, and the and the milk in. I mean, the powdered milk that you know. I add it in there, it does the trick, and it makes it so creamy and so heavy and so delicious. That is absolutely delicious. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a bit of that grape. Mm. Mm. It adds a freshness, and with the whipped cream, it's just so delicious. You can have it warm or cool down. But I like it to cool down because it gets more firm. And that's my custard, Claire's custard. So make sure you get the full recipe on my website, www.clairestate.com. And make sure you subscribe, like, and share. If you like this recipe, do let us know. If you don't, do let us know as well. But like I said, be, be, be open because it's got a, a creaminess that's a bit different, but it's just as delicious. And make sure you tune in next time in my kitchen making delicious desserts. Bye. Subscribe.